The stock markets were bleeding. One trillion dollars were wiped off in a single day, all thanks to a Chinese AI company called DeepSeek. But from a Chinese lab called DeepSeek. DeepSeek's AI model is a big wake-up call for U.S. industries. The Chinese AI model, an impressive model that can deliver plenty for its price. New discovery, this Chinese AI app called DeepSeek, which is giving a run for its money to these tech giants. All this commotion you just witnessed is about a Chinese AI startup called DeepSeek. And it is quietly reshaping the entire tech industry with a high-performance LLM at a fraction of the cost of the existing AI models like ChatGPT. And in this video, we are going to explore how you can run the DeepSeek Arvind model on your local machine. But first, why should you run DeepSeek Arvind locally? One, it gives you full control. You don't need to rely on internet connections or external servers. Everything happens on your computer, which means faster responses and no downtime. Second, it's more private. Your data stays with you, which reduces the risk of it being accessed by others. And third, it's cost effective in the long run. Once you set it up, you won't need to pay for cloud services or even subscriptions. So I'll be walking you through the simple steps to get the DeepSeek Arwen model running on your local machine. Whether you're a beginner or someone with tech experience, you'll be able to set up your own DeepSeek model in no time. So let's get started. So the very first step would be to visit this website, olama.com and download Olama. So Olama basically stands for Omni Layer Learning Language Acquisition Model. Now this is basically a free open source tool that will allow you to run large language models or LLMs locally on your systems. And once you hit the download button, you get these three options. So mine is a Windows system, so I'm going to select Windows. If you're using a Mac, you can select Mac OS or Linux, right? I click on download for Windows and that's it. I just have to wait for my download to finish. So I had already installed Olama and as you can see, this is what it's going to look like once I click on this. So once it has been downloaded, all I have to do is install. And so all you have to do is hit on the install button and it will take some time and install the application for you. So once you have installed the Olama tool, the next step is to visit this particular URL to download the DeepSeek model. Now, when you reach this website, you can see over here, you will have several options. Now, 1.5B over here stands for billion. 7B is 7 billion. Now, what these numbers represent, they're basically the parameters of your model, right? So, the lesser your parameters, the lesser the memory usage. And as your parameters increase, this is 671 uh, billion parameters. So, it is using 404 GB. Now, you can select these uh, parameters according to your system. So I'm going to go for something small, uh, that is 1.5 billion parameters because this is something that's going to run smoothly on my system. So once I select the desired parameter size, I get the query accordingly. Uh, this is for 1.5 billion parameters, so I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to open my terminal. And on my terminal, I'm going to run this particular query. Now you can see as soon as I run my query over here, I got a uh, feedback saying send a message or ask for help. Now this happened really quick for me because I had already installed it on my system. But if you are running this particular query on your system, your system is going to download all the necessary libraries and tools. And after that, you're going to get this particular uh, feedback over here. So if you see a lot of things being downloaded one after the other, do not worry because that's the basic process. But since I have already downloaded this on my system, I am not being taken through uh, to that process again, right? So let me write a simple query, say, I want a code of say a palindrome in Java. So as you can see, my DeepSeek has started working on my terminal itself. So it is basically thinking this is the thinking process of my DeepSeek model. So the user is asking for Java code to write a palindrome and I need to figure out what exactly they want. So it is giving the logic first. It is going to define what a palindrome is and basically it's giving a very step by step logic. And here you can see I got the code as well, right? So it is also uh, giving me an example if madam is a palindrome, right? So we are going through the code with an example. So setting up your own DeepSeek model on your system is this easy, right? But one problem over here is that the answer is really long, right? A simple palindrome code in Java should not take this much time to uh, generate, right? 
Now another thing you can do over here is you can add a nice you can add a nice UI to your DeepSeek model and in order to do that you have to visit this particular URL. So this is an open source web UI uh, code that you can run directly. So I'm going to do it with the help of Docker. So if you scroll down through the documentation you will find all the codes and all the necessary queries that you will have to run. So if we have Olama on our computer, all we have to do is run this particular query uh, for Docker, right? You, your system needs to have Docker. If your system does not have Docker, you can simply download it through download Docker for Windows. So if your system does not have Docker installed, all you have to do is click on the very first link and select the uh, Docker desktop for Windows. You can select this particular version. I have this version installed. All right, so once you have your Docker installed in your system, all you have to do is copy this particular and run it on your terminal. Once you do that, so once you do that, you can open your Docker and see that you have successfully created a container ID. And, and if you click on this particular link, so localhost 3000 and, okay, let me just, so now you know I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi and so I'm signed in and this is running on my local host so I do not need any sort of internet and if I ask any if I ask the same question write a Java program for a palindrome right so it's taking a while but right there so it's thinking now and so i gave the same query that i had given on my terminal and you can see my model has started thinking uh, the flow and the process of the answer and now the advantage over here in this particular ui is that the thinking process won't be visible to me by default. It is going to be optional. So if I want to see how my model is thinking, I can go ahead and check that out. But, but if I'm interested only in the final answer, I can just check that out once it has been generated. So again, if we chosen a large number of parameters x x 71, our model would have been able to think better. But again, it would consume a lot of memory and, and it needs to be compatible with the system as well, right? So as you can see, the entire logic is being generated. And so that is all about how you can run the deep sea carbon model on your system locally. So, so I hope you guys were able to uh, understand each step throughout the video and were able to set up your own deep sea model on your systems. So if you guys liked it, do hit the like button and thank you and see you in the next video.